playing from right to left and the Tigers from Christchurch and timely to pat for the side as they prepare for this important fixture in the mainland Super 10 competition. And as we await those teams, we can see the Les George Oval is in perfect order. There's a slight breeze. It'll be blowing from bottom left of your picture to top right, so it will favour the visitors. Um, and we've had a light shower just before, prior to the game kicking off, but no rain at the moment. There's the Southland Rams, Dion Williams, Wurumu Deniston, Shane Mitchell, Alan Welsh, Corey Tiawa, Richard Colvin, Horry Ellis, Darren Clark, the Vice-Captain, Freddie Palmer, Jared Trotter, Tony Shaw, Stacey Russell is leading the side, and Ricky Ashwell makes up the starting 13 for the Tigers uh, Patari Sa, Lance Taupari, Eddie Hiki, Nick Robinson, Brandon Dudley, Cameron Hubbard, Leon Stone, Christian Swifty, Shane Smith, Isaiah Talamana, uh, Tuaro Williams, Chris Newton and uh, Gareth Crook will, it's Gareth Crook in fact, uh, will start for this side in the commentary box with me Steve Rhodes, very experienced league player in the region, uh, an exciting time for the sport uh, Steve. Absolutely, great to see it going forward with a venue like this Tom uh, the players will be very excited. Hopefully it won't affect the game too much, but um, I'm sure they'll be just happy to be out there tonight. And looks like uh, a thousand hand to that ball. Yes, uh, the Tigers are going to start with a scrum. Yes, uh, the kickoff was touched by a Southland player, so a scrum to restart in a very, very handy position, Steve, uh, from the kickoff. Certainly not what Coach Greg Dawson would have wanted at this stage, Tom. Uh, the guys just need to settle down, concentrate on what they're doing. At the ball probably will be a little bit slippery out there tonight. And off the back. Immediately looking very dangerous. Diving for the line. A try could be signalled very early in the match to Ricky Ashwell. And that appears to be the case. Off the back of the scrum. No defence. He's cut straight through, isn't there, Tom? Let's have a look at the replay. No. No replay on this occasion. But uh, a great start for the Papua Nui Tigers. It was, in fact, of course, Gareth Crook, uh, the try scorer, not Ashwell, who's the uh, 13 for the Rams. My apologies. I'm sure he would have liked to have been credited with a try early on. He's not going to be it's Gareth Crook. Uh, poor the visitors, and of course, it's all by surprise, the Southland Rams defence in particular. Well, Coach Greg Dawson wouldn't be happy with that. He's using the compressed sliding defence tonight. means one man's going up, or two men are going up, making the tackle. The other guys are compressing and closing in the gap. So we certainly didn't see any of that then. And so it's 4-0 to Southland. With our scoring system adjusted to accommodate league's point system. Nothing to be added. So 4-0 to the Papua Nui Tigers. And the speed that thrills is the speed that kills. Still those very important mottos from Road Safety Southland for people on the roads during this winter season. And always, of course. Russell. Restart. And for the T. Very colourful picture out here at night. And a good crowd starting to gather the cars uh, encircling the ground as usual. Into the 22 and take them back. And the first line of defence better on this occasion. As Ashwell on that occasion that made the tackle. And we've got him picked out. South Rams will certainly want to be keeping them down there at this stage. Hopefully keeping them down there for the six. They may look to kick early, however. A slight breach of the defence and it's been uh, pushed wide open. And trouble afoot. That was a try blown, really. Was uh, looming on the outside was Eddie he If he grabbed the ball, it was all over. Steve, I think he just lost his footage there. Uh, probably got a bit carried away at the moment, but uh, some real dangerous signs uh, early in the game here, Tom. Yeah, Tura Williams was the player that carved open the defence. And the Rams, last time we saw them on sports file, we had a net as it highlights back to their first game here. They won that um, against the Tasman Orchids. And their defence on that occasion was solid, but uh, today... They started very poorly indeed, and, and poorly at scrum time. Turned over the ball there, Tom. It's, it's, it's a terrible start, really. Williams again that pounced on the loose ball. And that's Chris Newton. Got up from the tackle, and they're spreading it wide quickly. Southland Rams are going to have to get across in defence. It's looking 
Well, the fortunate that they picked up the pass there because uh, they were oh so close to the line with the Tigers. Put that ball down to being pushed off the scrum, pushed off the ball, putting pressure on the halfback. Not sure. In his experience. Certainly well. These sort of guys will be looking to lead them out of this. Hopefully now they can settle down, get into a rhythm, get a good good set of six going here. Maybe even look to kick early. Yeah, I'm afraid it wide. And then it's going across the field. It's a high and sloppy tackle from Brandon Dudley. And easily uh, evaded. Richard Colvin to steam onto the ball there. He's one of the playmakers last time we saw them. Broke preach the defence on regular occasions. Like it's turnover though. Judge them for a tackle. Being able to get a kick in. Bad communication there, you've actually said. Nobody sort of knew what was going on. Christian Swifty on the ground. Number eight for the Tigers. Keen to get this man involved, Tura Williams. Smith. And he's going to be pushed out, and that's good defence. That's much better. Good. Tigers looking very quick on the play of the ball there, uh, you just see how quick they actually do play the ball and move up and they're catching the South Rams running on the back foot. Doesn't quite look like the Rams are tuned in so far and come back to the scrum. And they performed poorly on their last put in. Deputy Taupa, the referee for the uh, fixture, and that's a much better scrumming effort, more solid base. Now looking to link up with the outsides and big crashing run from Clark. Got over the 10 metre mark. Armour at dummy. There's Colvin again and he uses that upper body strength to just uh, brush off a tackle and offload. Another key figure in tonight's game, you feel that already. Starting to miss a few tackles themselves, are the Tigers. Crab really getting involved. Just the footing again, just providing uh, a little bit slippery. Maybe just that last minute share. What do we have to do with that? Good ground, good meterage gain. You know, a strong defensive effort required. Perhaps a turnover this end of the field with uh, tackles in hand would be useful. Good, good hard tackles, turning the ball over. Crossing over, is that the uh, ball? Putting the scrum down. Rams look to have settled a bit more now. The nearest behind them. Starting to play some good football. Again, a better scrum, although the ball was not well controlled. The runners off Colvin. Williams came into the line. Colvin at dummy. Doesn't run himself this occasion. Goes to Mitchell. Mitchell goes straight up. Within five. Pulled down by Hubbard. Palmer flicks it off. Right under the post. Colvin fancies his own chances. Keeps going. They're not putting him down first time. A little bit of a handful for them tonight. Much more assertive effort. Looks like they're going to end up in the same place. Good check now to put on some pressure. Watch for the inside pass, though. Oh, that was uh, another communication breakdown because they created the chance. Flicked off the pass. No one there to take it. Big solid tackle is now going in the rim over the shell shock. much better on Robinson forces the kick early and it's out on the fault 
Well, that's a great result. Just imagine a little bit of pressure will do. Good minutes to keep them down there. Uh, scrum will take place where the kick was made. Which is right on the 22, right in the middle of the field. So for field position, it couldn't be any better for the Rams. This far out from the line. Jared Trotter there in the front row, number 10. More Ellis at half. Ellis that gets wrapped up and dumped. Palmer comes in at dummy. Off loads. Russell. Again, this time they use Clark, and he offloaded in the tackle before the tackle was made. So a little knock on there, I think, ruled against the Rams and the Tigers. Put into the scrum, and a lost opportunity there. They've done all the good work to get the field position, position I should say, and uh, just turned it over. Now we see a little bit of rain drifting across the the paddock. I think it's a little bit different. They have used. You have as much as the rain the Canterbury team are. Eh? Oh, another or oh, semi breach of the defence in the end they're closed down. Uh, still the, the Rams defence is uh, getting two men to the tackle every time, which is showing they're pretty well organised. They are looking good. Something Greek's been uh, the coach has been concentrating on all week. few early moments we were nervous about the, <laughs> their organisation but quickly they've rallied and 12 minutes into the fixture we've got four points only scored against them kick down field will be oh dear oh, oh. <laughs> she got away with it but they did and made some ground I think it was Williams at the end that tied it up and they get inside the 10 metres Oh, a little dummy run there by Palmer and Horry Ellis picked it up. That's a nice little move. Got an extra 10. Really running into the face of the, the rain now that's coming down. And Williams. Palmer again. This is Colvin. Inside runner, outside runner. Goes himself. Has support from Deniston. They need quick play the balls. Spread it wide. Ellis holds the ball up not quite nicely, but the defence was ready. And Shaw goes for the little kick into the corner, but it's well yeah. covered. Not the ideal kick he would have wanted. Tackling wasn't good enough to pin him onto the uh, goal line. I don't think that was the intended place for the kick, was it? Uh, no, really in these conditions they should be looking to put it up really nice and high, put some pressure on the full back. That ball will be quite damp now. Especially with uh, Southland kicking into the wind, it would drift back towards them. Indeed. Uh, as they chase through, but no elevation on the kick. Oh, yes, a little handling. And there's an example of the, the passes have to be precise tonight. Had to just come forward, and Saar couldn't quite hang on. One thing Greg Dawson was hoping to do was uh, was ball retention. He's very, very big on that. And uh, certainly in these conditions, like they, certainly not the game could be won just on ball retention alone. And he's not forcing any silly passes at vital times. with another chance and position stakes have probably even things up outside the 20 and Williams goes for a run maybe need to get the kick in a little earlier this time oh, the switch pass was reasonably successful Palmer, Colvin so watching him very carefully now and oh Shaw might be through right by the posts within five Palmer goes to Ellis they've got it out wide they've got gaps and 
Oh, we can't quite see whether he made it. No, he didn't. You can see in that picture. He's very, very close indeed. There's a man unmarked out there, Tom. There's the kick. That's the kick they wanted. It's very high. It's drift. You could see the drift. It came straight back to Southland. They've got to uh, overlap out wide. They were a bit slow to get it there. The runner is uh, cutting through now. Can he ground it? She's so close. Just picking up who that runner is. Came on the inside. The Rams are sure they've scored it. No, the referee. You see in the replay. That looks like uh, just couldn't quite get it down for. Right. Might pick up the number, but it was a good uh, rally by Southland. They used the width of the field. The kick was well, it really blew back on their favour. Certainly did. It was going to be tricky tonight checking into the win. Getting a turnover, so the referee is just gonna. That was, of course, the last phase that the Rams had to play with. And a few of the team members were indicating it was uh, the ball was touched, and indeed it wasn't. Would have given them another six tackles in a very handy spot. It has to be touched intentionally, does it, doesn't it, Steve? Uh, you can't just deflect off another uh, off an opposition yeah. player. It must be touched intentionally. Oh, that's. So showing a bit of uh, gusto now in the tackles. Amazing what one or two good hard tackles will do. The whole team wants to start doing them. Talamana on that occasion felt the wrath. Oh, three of the Rams and another three in the next tackle. Lost lifted team. And the kick's not bad. They use the wind quite nicely, have the Tigers. Williams has had to go back and he feigns as if to kick in no intention of doing so and just shuffles across the field long enough to get some support. I don't want to let the ball bounce too much like that, Tom. Jenniston breaks one tackle, and it takes two more to bring him down. Williams was one of those tacklers. The other was Nick Robinson. Here's Shaw. Quite an upright running style. He ran for a long time, Tony Shaw, in both codes. Very good player. Yes, indeed. It's not, it's not his first appearance on Southland Club Rope I can tell you. A few familiar faces to our regular viewers. Some good bustling stuff. Holding on to the ball too, which is uh, a great sign. To Colvin steaming onto it. They're using him well. He's not being the ram every time. And sometimes he's offloading, but on that occasion he took it up. Changed direction. The Zillas, and he flicks a beautiful pass out the back. Gone out wide. On the outside for Deniston, and he'll get uh, foot into touch. Replay might show how close that was. Dennis uh, could see the trial on, but he had absolutely no room in which to work. Here he goes. Great ball from Richard Colvin again, looking at his options. Did pick the right one still, I feel. I have they drifted over there, you see, because Scrum... I'm not sure what the rest indicated there, actually, Tom. Well, we know one thing for sure, and that's the Tigers have got the ball, and in particular Nick Robinson, and he offloaded nicely to Sart. Full back. Directly pulled to the ground. Very quick to get it out wide. Things have gained themselves 25, 30 metres, no problem whatsoever. Oh! Big charging run by Turo Williams, but he was smashed to the ground. Smith he too is brought down but they've got themselves some very useful territory they're just 20 out a little bit more and it's been turned over trying to push the pass very very silly mm. Graham's got out of jail with that one That's now the Tigers making the mistakes at crucial moments Ella's dummies slipped through almost had a choice to rip those to offload but he knew it was dangerous probably took the, the correct option and Pacing himself. So it's about time for attention. Get a good check in. Don't look to score a try on every set of six. Clark took it to halfway. This is uh, Nashville on the ground. Palmer goes right this time. Now, there's again first receiver Colvin. Couldn't get any momentum. Flicked it out of the back door himself. 
Ellis and uh, Colvin got a good understanding so far this evening. Very good communication going on between those two. Very experienced players. They've played together a lot of times. Certainly shown us a, a range of communication skills from absolutely none to uh, some very deft touches. So, the kick in here. No. Oh, dummies beautifully, <laughs> and Colvin goes straight through. By just into the second, offloaded in the tackle. That's a marvellous move in the pass to Dennis, and he couldn't quite pull it in. Yeah, I think he tried to cut him out there, Tom. And here's uh, yeah. Shane Mitchell the ball. Was it Shane Mitchell? Just trying to cut the man out. They didn't need to. It was just pass the ball, beat the man. Just tried to cut someone out when they didn't really need to. Oh, oh so now a handling, another handling here. They just pick up the ball and continue, or will they call a scrum? No, he's going to call a scrum here, I think. Oh. Couple of knock ons, perhaps. I'm not used to this wet ball. He's got to take advantage of this. Well, if you just joined our coverage after about three minutes of play, you'd think the Rams were in the dominant position. Uh, got off to an untidy start, but have made amends. The only thing they haven't been able to do is uh, square it up on the scoreboard, as you can see on our road safety south and scoreboard. The Tigers still lead by 4 to 0 in that uh, try in the, the, the opening stanza. Most close passes, which is the order of the day, here. Really. Welsh taking it up and uh, being dumped. And Williams inside the 20. Um, Tindy, just keep things going. Taking the play towards the centre of the field here, giving himself a good option. Really calling a lot of the shots. You know Richard likes to. <laughs> Clark can't get up, he's trying to milk a penalty, the referee's not interested. Farmer of Fanes goes to Tony Shaw. He could open the scoring for the Rams. It rolls over. Last tackle. First tackle. Couldn't get there. Oh, so close on so many occasions. And you have to say the Tigers' defence in the critical moments. Oh, Colvin hit hard. If he's got a high kick away, but as you see, it just blew about uh, 15 metres <laughs> back towards the Rams. And it'll be a handover. Looking probably a little bit predictable, Tom. I think well, maybe if they check a little earlier. Maybe nothing wrong with checking on the fourth net situation. Keep the opposition by surprise a little bit. Of course it's drum for now. And the Rams still camped down close to the Tigers lines. Which is a pretty which is a pretty good achievement given the, the wind advantage. So we never try and here they'll be looking really good. The game will be right up for grabs. Now we've got set, off and do and leak. Got the ball in and out, and away they go. Oh, bit of scrums we've seen on a leak field, Tom. We're all rid of it. And a penalty this time in favour of the Tigers, and they should be at the carb off, but I'd say 25, 30 metres with ease with this breeze behind them. Richard Colvin getting a little bit involved there where he probably shouldn't have. Get, get on with the job. And it's never far out of the picture, that's for sure. <laughs> He's in field to the Tigers, but they don't uh, make a lot of forward good. The tackle was just slipped, and Talfordy got nearly to the halfway mark, in fact, on it. And these tackles, Hubbard this time, all right to the ground. More than the tackler. And Newton taking it up and being dumped. Dudley. A bit of work to do as well. The shuffle and a slight breach of the defence. Still not through. Last, start. Last tackle here, Tom. Look for the kick. Look for the kick. A little chip through. It's a good one. It's going to force. Uh, no, there's not enough defence up quickly, so Williams will get out within goal area quite comfortably. That's very well done. It wasn't too bad, it was quite well placed. But there was no chases. And the referee said it would uh, play the ball, so tackle had been deemed to have been made. Poor attention vital here, Tom. 
danger zone. They're out of it though, just still in possession, still holding onto those passes. Colvin just, oh, he's just tremendous at offloading at the last possible moment. <laughs> Slightly high risk, yeah, you may say in these conditions, but he's getting away with it. Hard to criticise. Getting the early kick in there, that's good thinking. We're back down in Tigers territory. Saar tries to get away, doesn't. Great nice little tackle by Palmer. Not a lot too for any Palmer, but he knocks him over. Got a little carrier. Telfley again. He's in a two tackle. Colvin and Welsh responsible for taking him down. Cross on the half. And they're forcing him across field, but now they've. Oh! Went just a step too far. <laughs> Bit of soap out there at the moment, I think. Mitchell was able to jump on it. Williams uh, looks like he likes to mix it up too. Not afraid to run straight at the opposition. Should be a penalty here. There it is. With a hand in the play of the ball. They so get uh oh, taking the kick as well. <laughs> we up here in the commentary box next. <laughs> He's uh, so involved, and that just showed you the difficulty. He really wanted to get that ball out, but the wind just blew it straight back. Went for too many metres. I think he did, Tom. Just needed to get it out, and now they're under pressure again. Fatali mm. Saar looks a dangerous runner when he's got a bit of space. dangerous out wide if they can hang on to that ball there it's going to be a bit of a danger all right they're very quick out there get the impression they're just trying to rush things a wee bit though they're not trying to set anything up putting the ball carrier under pressure well, they're trying to score every time they get the ball they right? are and i think <laughs> that that first couple of minutes put them in a false sense of security that they can throw the ball around and you can actually see it pick up the points and they're going to look at the scoreboard 25 minutes gone we didn't take a, a short break to thank those uh, sponsors, uh, Road Safety Southland, of course, 100% behind our rugby and league coverage this year on Mercury. United Scaffolding and Donaldson Construction who put us out here. Doug Willis, John McMurdo worked on the OB van. Sono Sound Systems, Riverside Rentals, those people have been with us from the very start. Their support is always uh, very, very much appreciated. Tackling pretty good on Robinson. And Stone out to Saar. Tried to make space for Jared Payton. He's a, a reserve on, and oh, they've got very close indeed through Gareth Crook. He scored the first try. He's within inches of a second before being pulled down and two minds as to what to do and shrugged off the first oh two tackles missed that's dangerous meter out after all that good work the Rams don't want to uh, spoil it now and that's the way to make a statement but unfortunately they've given away a penalty short attack two points here and Southam got off a little bit lightly here Yes, we're going to take the shot. That'll extend the lead to six. Yeah, six nil will be pretty good for the low-scoring match that we've uh, we've watched here today. There's been a lot of action, but not much finishing. There's really, really lack of finishing. I, South Rams certainly got got off lightly there, Tom. I don't think I'd be too disappointed about uh, copping a penalty for that. Much better than trying to the six. You have to say something about the Rams, and they've got close to come away with a couple of points. They haven't been close often, but 6-0 uh, in the context of this game is a handy lead. It is. And I mean, uh, it's really going to come down to fitness in the second half. See what the difference is there in the fitness. Simple one. Conversion. 6-0 uh, is the score. We'll see. Rams. Trial. Taking the kick. 
six points to his. And we've just noticed one substitution so far. Paceman on jersey 17 for the Tigers. No changes so far to the Rams lineup. Made it's a good start. Swifty dumped. Mm, good solid uh, tackle. And the hallmark of uh, Rams display for oh, 90% of this first half. Colvin by Stacey Russell. And get into the basket of rep for the Rams. This afternoon, they'll be pretty proud of the effort so far. Four throws Smith to the ground. Oh, up and under. We'll blow this straightly across field and really goes nowhere. Oh, there's a chance there for the Rams to get hold of the ball. Well, the kicking tonight's been a little bit ordinary, Tom, so far. I don't think they quite know how to use this win. <laughs> just kicking and hoping, and it's just going straight across to the far touch line. It's a little bit rushed at times, too. Mm, eight metres, ram side of halfway. Mm. Stone will get them some distance and Calfrey a wee bit further. Vital tackles have to be made, Tom. Hold a minor. Switch directions. And drops the end by Calfrey. Yes, and he thought he was okay, but no one else did. Once again, just trying to do things a little, little quick. Trying to skip the man when it wasn't really needed. Looking pretty quick out there, but we haven't seen too many ball handling <laughs> skills yet. No. Tower free. I'm able to capitalise, and uh, 31 minutes gone, first half, 6 0. And from Christchurch. The um, Tigers, I should say, from Christchurch. Scrum again. Well, we seem to have settled the, the Rams scrum, but uh, let him down on that occasion, considered a try the first time. Dangerously so, Smith. Out from the goal line. Rams going to keep on making those hard tackles. Swift. Swifty, I should say. And the ball. for someone to walk low to, not able. Hubbard offloaded to Pateman, but he's five short. Go back the other way. Oh, a bit of a half tackle. Crooks through, hit second for the day. No doubt about that, he got it down. Good try, saw half a gap and just went straight through. Doing exactly what the Rams failed to do at the other end when they got this close is coming up with something in the late tackle count and a breach of the defence tackle missed by Ashwell on his uh, opposite crook he just tried to slide down around his ankles but he got away from him unfortunately uh, it's a, been a good day at the Lears George for Gareth Crook increases his tally to 10 and the teams Rams just want to keep what they're doing keep doing what they're doing Trying to drop off the odd tackle. Uh, I don't think uh, Cook will have many problems with the conversion. Oh, there we go. Not quite as simple as we first thought. 10-0, the score remains. The Papua New Tigers over the Southland Rams with seven minutes left on the clock.
speed that thrills is the speed that kills. The little motto there reminding you about uh, slowing down on the roads as well as reminding you as to the match score. We just want to keep the heads up here. Game's a uh, long way from over. We go. In. Reasonably deep. Mishandled. Just the desired start they wanted. Uh, a scrum. Five metres inside the quarter. It's a great opportunity to get right back on board here. Great control for Ellis, but he makes the best of it. In fact, he does very well indeed to get any forward momentum whatsoever. And Palmer's quick on his heels as dummy. Here's Colvin. He likes to look at the posts, but he's not going to get there. Offloads to Palmer. A little dummy from Palmer before being held by one leg, then two. And then dumped on his back. Colvin at dummy now. He'll offload to Russell and... He held it up nicely. Quick it. chance for the Rams. That's a try. No question whatsoever. Oh. Wonderful try. It came from the from the from the kickoff. Hands it, and the Tigers down again. And the first points on the board. Other face has been around the league for quite some time too, Tom. Time to score just before half time, get themselves on the scoreboard. And Jared Trotter, the try scorer. Catch Greg Dawson, he'll be quite happy going in under the half time break with this. He's just looking for his team to hold on to the ball a little more, just keep making the tackles. Turn the basics right. The kick just uh, blows across the face of the post, so that's unsuccessful. However, the gap is now just six. Trotter so, opening the scoring for the Rams. win behind them, they won't mind trailing by six but there's still time to perhaps narrow the gap further just reminding you, just the one game on our road, road safety Southland in terms of new coverage we are making up the package by repeating the matches from last week if you're watching the noon edition of Road Safety Southland Club Rugby, you'll be seeing the Star Excelsior as the second part of the double header and if you're watching the evening session of this game that's starting at nine o'clock on Sunday you're seeing the Blues and Waikaka match which we played last week just repeating for you as uh, part of the package not able to make this a double header Rugby Southland did try and stage a Rugby Union game prior to this cross code special but not uh, not able to put that together in time a lot of teams otherwise committed and of course uh, Friday night taken away through the Highlanders match but nobody's going to complain about that given the result but inside the 10 metre Southland uh, have possession much better kick there from the penalty too try scoring Trotter Colvin Colvin looking to get it out wide nice and quick Russell gets it to the 10 of the Tigers. Ellis again, he's got Colvin with him. They've paired up well today. This time occasion, Ellis didn't need him. Cram for space. The kick goes in. That wasn't a bad length, but they let it bounce, dangerously so, but it came straight to the defender. And 
this is the man who made the break, Williams, before early in the match. It's been a bit quiet uh, recently. Poggy certainly looked dangerous and broken play. Yes, in the open there. We've got uh, Dallas Henry on, I think. Uh, no, not Dallas Henry, Ma Michael Rongo, I should say. Using their bench a wee bit. Needs to be rolling these guys over onto their back and slow them down, Tom. Gives the defence time to turn around, get set up for the next runner. And if it's a quick play, the balls have seen them improve their field position significantly in this brace of tackles. Coming back inside is uh, Newton. This is Hubbard. Goes straight. Oh, manages to offload at the last minute. The tackle's not held. The try's going to be scored. And a couple of sloppy tackles has let the Tigers in under the bar. And that half tackle enabled the offload to take place and neither player putting Leon Stone to the ground. Good backing up. They're always backing each other up. Making the passes stick now, and that's what happens. Now they've managed to immediately reply to the try by the Rams at the Tigers. And on the stroke of half time, what is a dangerous uh, time? Two times. I think teams do tend to sort of switch off and maybe button off just prior to half time. It can be very dangerous. Especially as they just scored, they think perhaps they've done the work to finish off the half. Not the case. And that is the half time whistle 16 points to 4 in favour of the Papua New Tigers over the South Lands. Quick summary, Steve Rhodes, uh, happy or not happy for Greg? Uh, probably a little bit unhappy with, with it in the finish. Um, I think they've been playing well enough. Uh, ball retention, like I say, is, is huge. This, this game still can be won. Um, but yeah, it's going to be ball retention. And I think yeah, we're really going to see how fit these Rams are. I mean, they've been tackling their hearts out in the first half. They've been making the tackles happen. One or two legs starting to look a little bit tired there, so uh, it's really going to come into it. But, yep, keep the same enthusiasm. That's what Greg will be telling them. Do the basics right. Make those passes stick. Don't be trying to score uh, tries. Like we've seen the Tigers trying on every set of six. Um, just, you know, the, the opportunities will come. Just get away from the come and hold on to the ball to the key back this night. All right, let's see if they can hold on to the ball long enough to score enough points to bridge the gap. It's uh, 12 points the difference. Let's see if they can do it right after this break. To the half-time break. And uh, Steve Rhodes, the guest commentator in the commentary box, uh, a bad start to the game and a bad uh, end, a bad, bad start to the first half and a bad end to the first half. But yeah. the, that middle patch was good for the Rams. Indeed, yeah. All just uh, not not being switched on to the game at the right time, I guess. Uh, put it more down to concentration than anything else. Unfortunately, the Tigers were quick to pounce as Tigers are, and uh, a little mistake there is. You're seeing a lot of that tonight, Tom. Yeah, from the cats off in particular, there's been uh, two that have been knocked over the touchline and a couple dropped, so nothing with the lights here. Can't blame the ground, it's a uh, tremendous facility to have in Southland. Ivan Paul puts hours of his own time into maintaining it. Rams unbeaten on the Les George Oval. It's uh, in danger, although, oh, that is a shame, because coming into the back line was uh, Mitchell. Changed uh, direction and made a half break and then dropped the ball in the tackle. He was turning, looking for some support, and it got knocked out. Yeah, it was a good tackle. Now goes up to the 20 and beyond. And this is one of the dangerous runners, uh, Patali Saar. He's changed direction to Williams and it's going to take great defence to keep him out and that's right what they did. Fantastic play, he'd already scored the try on his mind. He was just working out where to place it when he got dumped over the try line. Yeah, Williams says, no you're not. One of the great saves. Check out the replay on that. That deserves to be seen again on the road safety south and it was the cover defence that was good enough. Great enthusiasm from the guys. It'll pick the team up. What a bad mistake. 
upfield. Enabled uh, then to make 100 metres effectively. But no points conceded, so no damage done. Coleman up to the 10. Early kick here. And reminding viewers that the wind is blowing bottom left to top right. It's where the ball's going, and in fact they've overcooked it. Nicely way to check it. No, I apologise uh, to Palmer. That was perfect. Thought it had gone too far with the uh, with the roll. I mean, how important they get up in the face of the Tigers and put them down. Star this time wrapped up. Nice variation there. Obviously kicking early. Got the wind behind them. Got to put the Tigers down. Really turn the ball over before they get to halfway. And pinned, and that's a mistake that's been forced by that defence coming up. Oh, Colvin rips it off. Wow. Uh, the player on the ground, Hubbard. One on one tackle, you can rip the ball in that situation. Two tacklers are involved, you cannot. It was a shame that uh, no one was on Colvin's shoulder. Great thinking by Colvin. Because he'd ripped the ball away and they had no one to pass to. But unfortunately, it turned over the ball. Colvin and Trotter, the tacklers. And then Crook to the ground. He's scored a couple of tries and conversion already tonight. A couple of conversions, in fact. Wrong go. Colvin carrying some more pounds when I saw him last time. <laughs> Using them table. well, though. Using He's them well. Using them very well. He's not loaded. Stone, he's picked up a try for his team late in the first half. Oh, that was clever work. You yeah, had to keep the ball in play. You see if he's going to get pushed out. It's a fine run from Welsh. Manages to fend off a couple, gets it inside that 10 metre mark. Up to halfway they go through, like uh, Russell. Um, uh, no, this is Russell there. Palmer with him, just sneak through, he's a hard man to put down, he's not going to crash through many tackles, he's going to slip a couple, not a good ball from dummy half, Colvin gets more possession, hangs on, plays the ball, it's a messy play of the ball, the referee's going to allow them just to carry on, Palmer again working in unison with Russell, Zellers puts in the kick, it comes off one of the Tigers, will he get a six more? What's the signal? That seems to be a bit of a waste. Would they have got six more for that, Steve, in your opinion? He, had, he hadn't signalled for another six, no. no. I'm assuming he didn't. Again, just a nice wee variation, just four yells, just chipping along the ground, good thinking, the ball is slippery. Confidence in the South and team. If I look at the top. Well, it's got off to a good start with a drop ball from the Tigers, but early possession. And a couple of wee mistakes up close to their goal line, which has cost them. Other than that, in general play, making most of their tackles. It's going to be keen to be the next one to score here. Yes, that's good tackling. Mike Henry is on for Rams now. Jealous Henry, so one of the first changes of the lineup. I'm sure of his touch is crook. Rams are probably a little bit unlucky there. It wasn't a, didn't appear to be called hell. Of course, one of the hands is on the ball and... Robinson, first up runner, but they're getting put to deck very quickly. Crook again, twisting and turning in the tackle. Stone. 
just outside the 20, but may have lost it in the tackle. The ruling. Turn over. Yep, scrum and it goes Rams way. Both teams really using the dummy runner quite a bit here. push on these scrums. Still have control of the Rams though. It's Ashwell that uh, made the, the first run. There's a little bit of a to-do on the 20. But it's all under control. And it's been dragged out of the fracker. Rams won't want to get involved this time. Just breaks concentration. Kupali Taupa, the referee, Just by Kevin McFarland from South and Les Lombardi from Otago this evening. Having a chat with Leon Stone. And the Rams have been going pretty good, and it does, does break your concentration a little bit. Quite sure what he's going to rule here. We have a the ball field. Well, the Rams have got the ball, and I assume it's in their favour, and it will be a penalty. And we've got changes coming in the sideline, I think that's the reason. Just waiting for those to take place. It's a very good, strong run. It might be Matt Hingy on the uh, on the field now in jersey 17. Or three tries, if I recall, in that first game. Now we're getting into some pistachus and it's getting out of control now. And unsightly. Not helping the game really. No. It definitely isn't what they want. Obviously something began on there for a while. We might perhaps on replay see what sparked it off because uh, the other's giving a bit of counselling. Linesman are coming across to assist the referee to sort out the tackle was up made. I think it's just a bit of a high tackle. Yeah. Then it started. Then there was punches thrown and there will be some people in trouble I would expect Monday morning. It was an intentional hit high tackle. I would suggest that uh, it may have, Tigers may have thrown the first punch. There was some pushing certainly before that. It'll be interesting to see on what they rule. Certainly looking for numbers, and I think if you see the Tigers team, we're going to get, uh, yes, it is number four, Robinson. I think he threw the first punch, and he's going to be yeah. having a wee rest. Referee's just talking to the other team. He's like he just we, him. we could see this happening on the, if we could just cross to there, we can see the... Give them ten minutes. Sinbin to Robinson, and... Uh, they obviously agree with us that he was the instigator. It'll be interesting to see if they take any action against... He was telling Tony to calm the team down. We don't want this game getting out of control. It's been too good a game. Certainly a long discussion. Debate as to whether they're going to sanction any of the... Rams. Get the handy penalty here, and I'd say they look to kick a touch. But, uh, talking to Stacey Ross, I believe the captain, so it may be nothing to do with 
system of Bolton. Challenge Quiet and his boys down. Any position for a penalty if they do give them one to Wrong in this discussion, perhaps in a part of that process of letting people cool down for a minute. We had a little bit of tension maybe two or three minutes earlier. Another player called out going across to the referees. Coriel has been called over. He was the initial tackler. Uh, didn't pick up who made the slightly high tackle. It's a bit cool out there now, so these guys will be wanting to stay reasonably warm. And ten minutes into this uh, second half. Right, just a uh, consensus on what will happen. The referee says, uh, I don't need any advice, thank you. I'll make up my own decision. And that will be a penalty in favour of the Rams. And uh, they'll be looking for touch on the far side with the wind behind them. Should get well into the 20 and it just comes off the side of the boot. It's OK, just, just want to put it out. Yep. I'll go for distance. So many opportunities to miss by going for distance. Interesting to see what the approaches on the on the tackle is solid and the matter's been put to rest they're continuing on they go going right up the center again the 12 out from the goal line offloads to colvin colvin goes within 10 just in line with the left hand upright Some great options here wide ellers looks to the wing and they just find the wing where the tackle was made on hangy Okay, they're keeping the pressure on. We'll look to go out wide a little bit too quick again. And if he had no room to hang, he just grabbed the ball and got hit at the same time. A little bit unsure about what they expected him to do. Well, oh. gone. But there'll be a couple of minutes added on for the disbursement of the confrontation the offload there is successful to Williams Williams again offloading so there's a couple of tackles not quite cleanly made eventually Taupari to put down Smith had dummy Stone and Saar uh, the ball is oh. lost forward Ms. Cook I think is the responsible party If there's a hand in there or it just broke free. No. Giving it the Rams thing just lost, mm -hmm. lost the ball. Another great opportunity, especially with them one man down here. Yeah, still got another probably eight minutes in the bin, so Rams really want to score at least once. So they can turn the game around right here now. Well, the scrum's an untidy mess. Ashwell picks it up, but it falls on top of them. Do it again to Talfa. They're being pushed, they're being pushed around by the Tigers in the, at scrum time. It's creating all sorts of complications at the back. Especially when he's going to chunk it the air. Lucy's to run off with the ball, and he's going backwards. <laughs> Ashwell's had no chance to really operate with freedom. This time, much better effort. He picks it up from the back and goes. Opposite Crook pulls him to the ground. Ellis is quickly wrapped up also by the same man, Palmer. See now is running for dummy half quite a bit. And shut him down pretty quick. And Russell. It's outside the 20. Palmer, Colvin over the top of uh, Stone, but effective enough. Palmer again. Outside of Shaw, Shaw offloads himself beautifully. A bit lucky there, last, last tackle. Got to do something special, look for the chip through. Ellis goes on his own, he's not going to be able to do anything with it though. I think he's going to find himself short in handover. And signaled by the referee. Probably should have organised some sort of kick, you would think. There seem to be anyone standing at the back there wanting to kick or indicating they're wanting to kick. 
like an afterthought sometimes. It's uh, certainly a way to win the game. Inside the 20, where Southland would like to keep them camped. Inside pass, and now with him to break out. This looks like Sar. He's got real wheels, but oh, brilliant tackle by Williams. He's yeah. opposite. No one close enough to pass to. Rams were onto him. Lovely break by Sar, but Williams equal to the task, and uh, the Rams can say thank you very much, Dion Williams, for this piece of possession. And almost threw it away then. Henry just hanging on outside the 20. So, so dangerous and broken play the Tigers. And there's a couple of runners. Uh, Turo Williams and Patali Saar have gained great yardage. There's incisive runs. Put a short. I throw straight through Tony Shaw. One to beat. Does so. Now the defence is starting to gather and he looked round and nobody within a mile. Done all the hard work. Quick play the balls. Colvin steamed onto it. Big tackle by Star to stop it. Colvin gets the pass away. That forced pass you've talked about, Steve cost the try. Just trying to do too much. He's in a great position just to set it up for the next play of the wall. A quick play of the ball. They had the Tigers going backwards. Stone now. The defence preacher starting to miss a few tackles as the bodies tie. And Tony Shaw, that was a brilliant run by the experience. Ten years ago, ten years ago, he would have been under the black dot. But now the counter-attacking ability of the Tigers has really punished the Rams. Back inside their own 20 and hold on to fence. And on is, looks like the uh, Sinbin time is over. Back to the full number. And intercept, he gets it. Away he goes, but he's offside, is he? Oh, what that signal is. Give him a penalty. Taking a shot here by the look of it. Not another two points in front. Very handy for them at this stage. But another room for a bit of a battle. Southland not able to score in that time. And they're up against 12. Rams just want to suck it in here. They've been doing a lot of tackling. Just got to keep the enthusiasm up. Maybe Greg will be looking to bring on a couple of fresh players. We can certainly get a bit heavier on one or two of them. And the Tigers also appreciating a bit of a breather. Certainly on the counter, they look dangerous. Makes a good break. Just haven't quite been able to finish them off. Mm -hmm. They've uh, lacked a little bit of support when they've made the break. Certainly looking through to some of the man of the match candidates. You have to look at maybe Dion Williams at the back there. He's been a try saver on a couple of occasions. He's put off some great tackles. That choice will be yours, Steve. We're out road safety south of the man of the match when it comes to down to it in about... Uh, 20 minutes time, either team of course eligible, and the kick from Crook Crook I should say is not good, flagged away so no further punishment for the Rams in terms of the scoreboard we settle down long kick and start Patali Saar goes for the uh, step, it was crunched by three very impressed, very impressed with the way that uh, Rams are coming up in the in defence there, coming up in a nice line. So often we see towards the end of a game, coming up in ones and twos and let's get the gap. And the offload was good for Robinson, but uh, defence equal. 
But of course, Dan plays down Smith. Oh, just hung on. Kick through. Oh, it's fumbled by Hanger, but I don't think that'll be ruled or not on it will. Yeah, a bit hard on him there, I think. Because so it might have gone backwards. Might be able to get a replay of that to see if it was uh, indeed forward. Not that our opinion matters much. Once again, just opting for that early kick, and this is what happens. Put some, on some pressure. Some things yeah. unexpected. A wee bit unlucky, perhaps. It did seem to propel backwards. Harsher on that leg than that union. Oh, the inside pass has just left a yawning gap, which the Tigers have taken and extended their lead. It was a nice try. Yeah, just opening them up. They, they, they did open them up. An inside ball, and uh, from there, it's not going to be stopped. Inside pass was a beauty. So close to the line, the defence couldn't reform. Oh, that's important of the, of the quick play, the balls in that situation. Ram still going backwards. The, the defence line wasn't terribly well organised. Quick play the ball. That's what can happen. Jared Payton gets a big slap on the back from the trainer. Well, finishing it off. Nah, had a big part to play in the inside pass. Wouldn't have liked to be standing in his way right then. <laughs> Kicks pretty good. No, flagged away at the bar, at the uh, upright, I should say, and the score remains 20 to 4 in favour of the Tigers. Speed that thrills is the speed that kills. Another change with number 15, Daryl Urquhart, uh, coming on for the Tigers. Time on the clock for this one. Didn't the Rams come back from similar scores to this before? It's certainly not out of their reach. Probably need a couple of things to go right for them. The time of the game, we thank our sponsors. Donald's and Construction United Scaffolding, of course. They put us higher. Lofty, Les George. Riverside Rental, Sono Sound Systems, and those new people that came to the party this year to help our OB set up, Doug Willis. And... John McMurdo and of course the Impercargill Carpet Court. I think I admitted them on the first uh, wrap up in the first half. We thank them for their support also. Well, the tackle's going a little bit high there. Be careful. The tackling just holds them up on the tent. Another nice offload and good catch by uh, Tuamiti. He's a new uh, player on. Connell Tuamiti. Outside the 20. The kick through is going to be quite well weighted. Williams had to do a bit of work to pick it up. Got good outside. Work. Good work by Williams. Once again, an early kick. Tiger's obviously seeing the advantage of the early kick. Probably ready to, to want to put the Rams away now while they can. Mm, just outside the 20 now for Rams. They'll be looking to get pretty good field position with a long kick, I would think. Still enough breeze to make a difference. Tigers tackling is uh, pretty sound. We fumble there from Palmer. Not ruled forward though. Over. No, he didn't. No. <laughs> a little left concentration. I think he knew he didn't too, and that's a shame because the kick, uh, clearing kick, would have taken play well down inside the 20 for the the Tigers. Well, looks like Colvin's back on. He was off for uh, a short while. On the sideline, taking a few breaths there, I think. Tom. <laughs> You've done a lot of work. Now yeah, back on the field is uh, right. It's just a 
testing uh, to see why Colvin is standing sideline. For warming up is Matt Fowler. Tigers get it. Inside cut. It's quite well. Looks like he knocked that on there, Tom. Mm. Get him away with it. Robinson to the ground. Hubbard to the 20. Dudley is dummy. It's grabbed by one, two of the third player, pulls him down. Final tackle here. Smith outside to Stone. Inside. He he. Eddie he he. Still stays on his feet as long as he can. The scrum just outside the five meter mark. And it'll be an advantage perhaps. Indeed. Looking for a bit of magic here. I think Tom will be looking to get up the other end as quickly as possible. Tom is ticking. Just uh, 13 remaining. Again, the Tigers push that scrum. Oh, Ella's got away with it though. And got some nice uh, yardage to go with it. Plays the ball quickly and it's kicked away by the Tigers players returning unsubtly. <laughs> Referee picked that up immediately and penalised them. So, and chance to see a Colton back on. Get perhaps close to the half. With the wind advantage. No, just making sure of the touch line. Getting five, maybe ten metres. And getting in position and six more tackles. Um, with the tap. This one tried to Jared Trotter. The Rams threatened so many occasions that uh, the difference between the sides for me is just the finishing. Close to the line. Tigers have just uh, been inside the Broken the gap, finish it off. Fellas gets to the 10. Good yardage up here. And this Palmer goes outside. Straight up is Russell. Quick play, the ball needed here. Just inside the 20. Palmer. He's got Henry outside him. They go to Colvin. He brushes off the first. He's looked so close to scoring. He offloads. So on that occasion was securely held. That's the five minute mark, you saw the post, they go outside, Gotta be. that close to scoring, it's not funny. Mark Fowler, but I think the penalty's been called. Yes, the referee signals a penalty right there. So on the five. Have you set move for you, Tom? Ross to short he offloaded one handed in the corner possibly he no he had no room to move he just didn't try and do anything clever though just hang on they've got tackles to play with Palmer offloads sure again five out vital time to score here Holman can he use his box to good effect holds it up can do nothing else good defence though by the Tigers and this is where they have uh, at the drop on the Rams, the defence on goal line has been much better. They're able to come out and close it down. I say that the tackle slipped, but still they hang on, there's people in cover. Yeah, they're very well organised. There is always someone there to slide into the gap. Rams just got a... Maybe an inside pass. Last it's tackle. It is missed the tackle. Look for a little chip through, perhaps into the in-goal area. Ellis goes on his own for the second time. Yeah. And that option just is not going to work with that defence. Why he's done that now, Tom? A bit of a waste. Brief is that. Uh, take that again. And maybe he's concerned about the injured player. So again, they come up empty. Not within a few metres so often tonight. Only crossed the one. 
they haven't really got anything organised to get up to the last tackle. They're right on the line, you know, they just don't seem to have anything organised. Seems to get someone running from dummy half. Well, I don't think we've seen either team able to put a ball into the end and goal and then force a, a drop out. So catching the player in the area. They're not big in goal areas particularly, but uh, there's nothing, no threatening kicks. Up to the 22 and outside it. And there's Nick Robinson, controversial. It's uh, time in the bin. Easy. Jump by three. Little dart and dummy. And, uh, back the Tigers come. We've got numbers here. The kick through by Crook is going to be quite tidy. It's going to force Williams well back. That few looks still for more depth than that. But they've come up quickly. Now look at that. That's good defence. Williams had time to make a couple of steps, no more. Look the Rams, very slow to get back, Tom. They, yeah. They're tired. Fatigue is setting in. It's the tackling that really drains you. And they're standing in a, in a very small group. <laughs> they're not spreading out either. And that's the sign that they're just struggling to maintain their lines. They've been doing a lot of defence, and 10 minutes to go, that really does start to take it out of the team. But they're not out of it. They want to just keep trying, keep prodding away. Here's Richard Colvin on another barnstorming run. Oh, dropped by Hingy and turned over. And the counter. And this is where they've been punished. Uh, another turnover. More advantage played well by the referee. Probably the Rams do want to probably push the odd pass now. Time is ticking. Put one of things, two things together. Lowell also on. Graham Lowell. Touch exponent in the Southland area. Shaw able to just flick the back pass. Here's Lau now. Got a nice three step. And Bolt Cup since the last time I saw him. And Colvin is outside the 20. Again, and this is Ashwalk. He's inside the 20 and made useful few steps before being dragged to the ground. Change direction again. Colvin serves the try for his work. Oh, I think he just had to catch it and fall over the line. Couldn't do so. Couldn't miss him a couple of weeks ago out here. Yeah, they'll be trying to use him a lot. Didn't quite pay off that time. A little bit unlucky. Tally Sarr, the fullback, he's enjoyed a few sprints that he's managed to, to get in today. Inside, there go. Inside, outside, no. No, tackle slipped. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous for the Rams. Away goes Newton. Newton will go all the way. Chris Newton will score and put the game I would think beyond reach for the Rams. And the fatigue we spoke about responsible, I think, for those missed tackles. Yeah, absolutely. You can just see it now. Though. I mean, the, the Rams are walking back from one and, one and two. So, um, one tackle miss, and then two. And as you can see on the replay, it was a straight sprint for the line for Chris Newton. Guys that go too fast drop themselves because of a reflection of the need to slow down on the road. Not on the rugby league field for Newton. He wrapped up the game nicely for the Papua Nui Tigers. So with six to go, 26 to four as it will inevitably be. Just too far now, Steve. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit unfortunate. The Rams, I think, they have played quite well here today. Just lacking a few basic things, and I'm, I'm sure Greg will be able to see those. Um, just a little bit un unorganised, as I said, on the, on the last tackles. Um, running from dummy half in those situations. Just need to be a little bit more organised, but the defence has been quite good. The guys are getting a bit tired out there today. 
he's doing some huge, I'd, I'd like to see what the stats are, there's some huge tackle counts in there for some of these guys. 26 to 4 and probably for three quarters of the game they've been highly competitive but in that other quarter getting down, down a wee bit and uh, the Tigers have taken every advantage Oops, uh, the Rams deserve a few more points because they've got they've, on several occasions got themselves within a couple of metres but, uh, the lack of inventiveness that close to the line seems to be strong uh, kick off is taken by Sakali Sark and as he's done all the evening run with aggression Rams have got another four home games got to see a couple of wins out of them there and hopefully you'll uh, with all the next four Saturdays in a row I believe at this time if you are interested in coming out to the Les George Oval and supporting the Southland Rams I'd uh, certainly appreciate it reasonable crowd here tonight fantastic venue and the sound of football has been pretty good overall slightly wet conditions but not quite the spectacle of the first game in uh, bright sunshine but it's much harder handling tonight Another run. His offload was a little bit risky, but they got away with it. Tigers full of enthusiasm. Everybody wants to try now. So, uh, there's six of them running up onto the ball then. Chasing that. There's only two rams. And they're just firing those uh, offloads at the last moment. And rams having to be and take risks. Nice for the Rams to, to cross the line again. Give them a bit of confidence for the next home game. Sure. Muscles his way through half a tackle. Standing up, offloading and dropping it is uh, Ellis. Now the clock winds down to the last five. Tackling is still, there's still some enthusiasm there. The player down in the back line is uh, quite prone, so getting a bit of treatment on there, a bit of cramp maybe. Bone jolting hips just there. <laughs> and there's a player down at the moment, so they will just have to rally around a defence. That's uh, Tawamiti. Uh, well, his oh, offload's fantastic. good, and here's Crook. He's going to finish it off under the post, and his third try of the day. It's hard to go past that man, Gareth. Uh, Crook is one of the stars. Three tries and a brace of conversion. Played extremely well. He's always been there. He's always been the man backing up, and uh, that's the reward for it. Still got some pace to finish off in style. And... No doubt he'll make it 32. Four. So with a couple of minutes to go, see perhaps uh, a man of the match is uh, appropriate to be named at this point. We can absolutely notch him up. So there's a few choices there. <laughs> I'm going to have to go uh, with, with Gareth, Gareth Crook on that. Um, there he is. He's really just uh, yeah, quite fitting that he finishes the game off with a try. He's really got to be my pick. For the Rams, Richard Colvin played very well. Coriolis had a great game. Maybe a couple of wrong options there at times, but always there. Uh, the combination I was impressed with, of course, was with, with, uh, with Bory and with uh, Richard Colvin playing very well together. Good communication. So there he is, the road safety south for man of the match. Gareth Crook. And Tony Shaw's been another one that's been battling away there too. Jim Williams to full back. Off a couple of tries. No one to have shown. So a few individuals are going to come out of this game with credit. The treatment. Like uh, the captain hobbling off. Stacey Russell. Just, uh, he's had a good 
game tonight. Been involved in a lot of tackling. So a minute to go. And the Rams playing for some self respect. They'd like a try to finish on a positive note, the kickoff, which haven't been particularly well played tonight at uh, so on this occasion. Here's uh, a player who's been most effective, Kuro Williams, and this is why. He's managed to pick up 30 and 40 metres at a time on a number of occasions. Full of enthusiasm, the Tigers now. The Rams with their heads down a little bit. They can't afford to, though. They've played well enough. That's Newton. Scored a try already this evening. And then that pass is uh, just fumbled. Referee will look at his watch. Doesn't need to, decides uh, there's still a little bit more time. for the Rams to play with in the last few moments. Two run by Welsh. Get 10. And Horiellas. Yes, he breaches through the defence and has got uh, one player in support. Couldn't find him when he needed to. But it was a good break by Ellis. Changed the direction. He's on the short side. So good speed at this stage of the game. It's a great effort from Ellis. Sure offloaded, but it's uh, unfortunately to a Tigers player. And Shane Smith is grateful for the possession. The stone caught under the upright late in the first half. Might finish the game in similar fashion if they don't pull him down soon. They do around the ankles. Well, but only just. Have it offloaded is uh, Robinson, his kick and chase, who's back there to tidy up. Like uh, Fowler, and he gets inside the playing area. Good work there by Fowler. Gets a bit of tidying up at the back there. He's come up trumped every time so far. I realise here too, Tom, this is, this is a top team from Christchurch. Uh, this is a great effort though. They've got a huge competition up there. We probably lack that down here. We've only really got the South and team. We haven't got a lot of feeder clubs for this team. So it's, uh, school probably doesn't reflect just how close it's been today, but it's been a great effort. It's, uh, it's true, but a lot of those main activity are made up primarily of uh, Christy's team. Putting it wide. And hanging on is uh, Newton. And the offload to Hee And he might complete the scoring for the evening, I suggest. This will be the last try. And it goes to Eddie Hee from the Papanui Tigers. The whistle referee shrills on his whistle to indicate that uh, 36 points to 4 will be the score awaiting the conversion. He picked up a, an awkward pass and there was just no gas in the tank left for Colvin to get across and take him over. Yeah, fin finishing on enthusiasm, as I said earlier, probably doesn't, the, the score certainly doesn't reflect Southland's effort today. The Tigers scoring three or four late tries, solely on enthusiasm. Rams with the head down a bit, but they've got to come back. They'll, they'll come back next week. Be great to get a win under the belt. Still put them in contention uh, for a spot on the semi. So Fatali Sar will get the last honour of the day. He'll be taking the conversion. And as we see the Tigers celebrating, you can just see the Sar having a shot now. And it's a pretty good attempt. Flagged away. But the match is over. This is Mr. Telfer and the winner, the Tigers, by 36 points to four. So, Steve, uh, probably not a, a score that reflects the effort put in by the Rams, but um, it's a reminder to them about what they need to do in terms of finishing off chances created. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Coach Greg Dawson, he'll be working on this. I'm sure he'll be working on the finishing. Tackling was very good today. Um, but just, yeah, just a, a crucial 
crucial times, just didn't have the imagination or the flair to finish as the Tigers did. Something they've probably got to look at. Maybe get a few more set moves going. There didn't appear to be um, terribly good communication at times on the on the final tackle, and that's vital times, and that's, that's the areas in which the Tigers did score and the, and the, the Rams didn't. So, uh, yeah, Greg, will be, he'll, be, uh, he'll be looking to fix up those areas. Maybe, uh, you know, they've got, the guys are going to get fitter, obviously, as the, as the games go on, but, uh, yeah, just momentary lapse of the concentration. Just simple things, really.